Bahubali 2. A severely injured woman who seems to be on the run from assailants, prays to God to save the small child she is carrying. That is when Sangha, Rahini, and her husband, part of a tribe living in the province of the kingdom, save a drowning infant, not knowing the background of the infant or what the future holds for him. He grows up as Shavudu, a free spirit wanting to explore the mountains and in the process, learns of his roots from the kingdom and his parents and then realizes the whole purpose of his life and ends up confronting the mighty Balaladeva for his rightful place. At the conclusion of the big battle from the last movie, Amarendra Bahubali, Pravas, having defeated Kalakayas, is declared king by the mother queen Sivagami, Ramya Krishnan, over Balaladeva, Rana Dagyabadi, who instead is given charge of the armies as a commander. There is a tradition in the kingdom that the daughter-in-law of the royal family is required to perform a sacrifice every so often by carrying hot coals in a container above her head and walk around the temple to ward off evil spirits. Sivagami carries this out as she is the only daughter-in-law of the family. Amarendra Bahubali proves his might again as he stops a disgruntled elephant that escaped its harness and was charging in the direction of Sivagami. The ceremony was carried out because Amarendra Bahubali was to ascend the throne as king. Declaring Amarendra Bahubali king does not ease the tension between the two stepbrothers and rivals, as Balaladeva considers himself the rightful king, being the biological son of the mother queen. As we found out in the previous movie, Amarendra Bahubali is the son of the old king, and his mother died giving birth to him. The king's brother was seen as too weak and cowardly to take over the throne, so his wife Sivagami, sister-in-law of the king, had the conspirators to the throne killed and assumed the throne herself. She was to hold power until one of the two princes proved he was capable enough of taking over the responsibility of the throne. Since Amarendra Bahubali was to take over the throne, Sivagami orders him to travel throughout the kingdom and surrounding areas and become familiar with the people in various smaller kingdoms that existed within the land so that he understood the land and the state of the people he would be ruling over. She also sends Katapa, Sathuraj, along with him as a companion and bodyguard. In the meanwhile, the Sivagami would prepare for his coronation and search for a suitable bride. During their travels, Amarendra Bahubali and Katapa come across a village that is being attacked by bandits. There they see Princess Devasana, the woman enslaved in the royal courtyard, collecting small pieces of wood from trees in a fire pit in the first movie, Anushka Shetty, take on group a group of bandits and defeat them without much effort, while other, other men from the village fight rest of the bandits. The villagers are being led by Devasana's cowardly cousin Kumara Varma, Subbaraju. Amarendra Bahubali and Katapa also assist the villagers by quietly taking on a group of bandits hiding in the forest nearby. Amarendra Bahubali becomes infatuated with Devasana when he sees her fighting. Devasana is a princess of the Kantala kingdom and the sister of the ruling king. After the fight is over, the two manage to convince the princess and her cousin that Amarendra Bahubali and Katapa are uncle and nephew, and that Amarendra Bahubali is an uneducated fool who was kicked out by his family for being an idiot. Katapa manages to convince Devasana that they are simple travelers and asks her to take them in. During their stay within the palace, Devasana manages to figure out Ab is not a fool, but rather just putting on an act. He flirts with her during their stay falls in love with her, and because she enjoys his flirtation, does not call him out and just plays along. Back at the palace, Balaladeva learns from his spies that Amarendra Bahubali is pretending to act like a fool in order to woo Princess Devasana. He becomes infatuated with Devasana when he sees the picture he received of her. Before Amarendra Bahubali can act on his desire to marry Devasana and inform Sivagami, Balaladeva convinces her of his desire to marry Devasana. Not knowing about the burgeoning romance between Amarendra Bahubali and Devasana, and feeling guilty for passing over her biological son in her choice for king, she promises him that Devasana would marry her son. Subsequently, Sivagami sends a messenger to Devasana's kingdom for her hand in marriage to Balaladeva, however, the messenger belittles the Kantala kingdom and insults Devasana, saying she should be grateful for having been offered a proposal from such a prominent kingdom. The princess in return insults the messenger and turns him away refusing the marriage proposal. Katapa and Amarendra Bahubali who do not know that marriage proposal was on behalf of Balaladeva, take the proposal from the messenger as meaning that Sivagami on her own decided to marry Amarendra Bahubali to Devasana. Since Devasana does not know yet that Amarendra Bahubali is the future king, he does not step forward to reveal his actual identity. A little while after Devasana's kingdom is attacked by an organized band of robbers. Amarendra Bahubali is forced to reveal himself as a warrior in order to fight alongside Devasana and defeat the enemy. 
Following the battle, he declares his love for Devasana and asks her to come back with him to his kingdom as his bride. Devasana's family is supportive and approves of the match. Although Amarendra Bahubali had received an order from Sivagami to take Devasana as a prisoner for insulting her offer, he tells Devasana that he will protect her and she can come with him back to his kingdom. Once they explain the situation to Sivagami, she will accept their relationship and it would all turn out fine. Things do not go as planned. Devasana and Sivagami almost instantly dislike each other. Devasana also declares that she will not marry Baladeva because she does not love him and refuses to be forced to marry someone she does not love. Sivagami takes Devasana's refusal as an insult against her, partially because she still feels a little guilty for making Amarendra Bahubali king instead of Baladeva, and orders the guards to arrest her. Because Amarendra Bahubali had promised Devasana that he would not allow her to be harmed, he comes to her defense. He goes against the orders of Sivagami and refuses any harm to come to her. The actions of Amarendra Bahubali infuriate Sivagami. By choosing another woman over the queen mother, Amarendra Bahubali dishonored not only the queen mother but also the laws of the kingdom. Thus Sivagami gives Amarendra Bahubali an ultimatum. He will have to choose between being king or Devasana. Amarendra Bahubali having fallen in love with Devasana, naturally, chooses her over being king. As a result of Amarendra Bahubali's choice, Baladeva is crowned the new king. Amarendra Bahubali is given Baladeva's old job as commander of the army. At the coronation ceremony, the people and guards at the palace cheer louder for Amarendra Bahubali when he is crowned the commander, shaking the throne by stamping the ground with their spears. Clearly, they still see him as their king. This only serves to infuriate Baladeva even more. He decides that Amarendra Bahubali must not hold any power or he will continue to be a threat to his rule and delegitimize him. The tension between the two stepbrothers persists as Balaladeva uses every opportunity he can to drive a wedge between Amarendra Bahubali and Sivagami. He particularly uses Sivagami's dislike of Amarendra Bahubali's wife Devasana as a factor in driving the wedge even deeper. Balaladeva even goes as far as creating situations where Devasana appears to be in the wrong and Amarendra Bahubali is forced to fend her. When Devasana becomes pregnant, he relieves Amarendra Bahubali of his command over the army so he can spend more time with his wife. However, it was a ploy to strip Amarendra Bahubali of any power he held in the kingdom. This becomes another fight between Devasana and Sivagami because Devasana accuses Sivagami of sitting idly by while her son takes all control. Slowly all forms of power are stripped from Amarendra Bahubali and the queen mother Sivagami has been turned against him by Balaladeva. Once the tensions reach a boiling point at the order of Sivagami, Amarendra Bahubali and Devasana are exiled from the kingdom forced to go and live among the peasants. The couple now living at a worker's village are still happy with their life, having each other is enough for them. Amarendra Bahubali helps the villagers by creating tools for them so that they do not have to work as hard, while Devasana, having gotten further along in her pregnancy is preparing for the birth of her child. Back at the palace, Baladeva is still paranoid about the influence Amarendra Bahubali has and comes to the conclusion that as long as Amarendra Bahubali is alive, he poses a threat to his crown. Thus he comes up with a plan that would have the queen mother Sivagami herself order the death of Amarendra Bahubali. Balaladeva has Devasana's cousin Kumara Varma overhear a conversation between himself and his co-conspirator father, Sivagami's conniving but cowardly husband Bajaladeva, Nasser. Balaladeva's and his father pretend to have an argument where he wants to have Amarendra Bahubali killed, but his father pretends to be against the plan. This fools Devasana's cousin Kumara Varma into believing that Balaladeva's father could be trusted and asks him for help so that Amarendra Bahubali is not harmed. Balaladeva's father for his part of the plan convinces him that the only way to protect Amarendra Bahubali is to kill Balaladeva. When the plan is carried out and Kumara Varma attacks Balaladeva, it turns out to be a trap and Kumara Varma is killed. Balaladeva injures himself and then goes to the queen mother, Sivagami. Since it was Devasana's cousin that attacked him, he convinces her that Amarendra Bahubali is the one that sent Kumara Varma as an assassin to kill him out of jealousy of losing the throne and his command of the army. Sivagami, still angered at Amarendra Bahubali's betrayal of having chosen Devasana over her is now convinced that Amarendra Bahubali would be capable of doing such a thing as having Baladeva assassinated. Because Amarendra Bahubali is still popular among the people, he cannot be killed outright as it would cause lots of internal fighting. Therefore Sivagami orders Katapa to assassinate him quietly. Since Katapa is bound to serve the royal ruler, 
he cannot refuse the order. The plan is to have a group of rogue warriors chase after Katapa into the village that Amarendra Bahubali is living in with his wife. While this plan is unfolding, Amarendra Bahubali's wife is giving birth, but Amarendra Bahubali is forced to leave his wife to go and help Katapa. Although the warriors are able to injure him, none of them are able to kill him. Amarendra Bahubali kills them all, and it is up to Katapa to finish the job. When Amarendra Bahubali's back is turned towards Katapa, he plunges his sword into his back. After Amarendra Bahubali has died, Balaladeva comes to gloat over the dead body of at his victory and expresses his level of depravity by hacking away at the dead body with an axe. Balaladeva also believes that Katapa is his loyal dog and in his zeal at having won, reveals his entire devious plan to have Amarendra Bahubali assassinated by the order of the Mother Queen. Katapa immediately rushes off to tell the Mother Queen of what Balaladeva had done and that Amarendra Bahubali had never done anything wrong. This leaves the mother queen Sivagami in shock, having finally realized what she has done. Devasana in the meanwhile had given birth to her son, young Mahendra Bahubali, and while she is still struggling, makes her way to the palace with her new baby and is shocked to learn of the death of her husband. When Balaladeva returns, he asks his mother to go to the palace balcony and address the people, informing them of Amarendra Bahubali's death. Instead, she takes the baby out on the balcony to declare that the baby is the new ruler of the kingdom and Katapa takes a vow to protect and serve him. Balaladeva enraged at Sivagami's declaration has the guards attack her, but she manages to escape with Katapa's help on a boat through the water canals running through the massive palace. While she is escaping Balaladeva shoots an arrow into her back, the arrow we saw at the start of the last movie, and she drops into the canal river, possibly drowned and dead along with the baby. Devasana who is still struggling after having given birth is captured by Balaladeva and imprisoned in the palace courtyard. Present day, 25 years later, in the present day, Mahendra Bahubali, also played by Prabhas, son of Ab and Devasana is enraged after hearing the story of what happened to his parents. He orders Katapa's elite troops, the rebels he was helping to rescue Devasana from the first movie, not realizing she was his mother and all of the people from his village to prepare for battle against Balaladeva and his army to take back the kingdom. When Balaladeva learns of the threat he orders his troops to attack and he comes out of the palace on his massive chariot, recaptures Devasana and returns to the palace closing the massive drawbridge leading into the palace once he is safely inside. Mahendra Bahubali and his men manage to get into the city by bending long trees and using them as catapults to launch themselves over the palace walls while using their shields to make a protective shell around them. Once the groups make it inside the palace walls, the drawbridge is open for rest of the troops to breach the palace and take the battle to the courtyard of the palace. Mahendra Bahubali goes directly to fight Balaladeva. The fight is evenly matched with both warriors showing their might. While everyone else is fighting Devasana, starts the sacrificial ceremony that Sivagami had completed a long time ago. Obstacles are thrown in her path, and a bridge that she needed to cross is lit on fire, but a pathway magically seems to clear for her to continue her journey around the temple to complete the ceremony. Mahendra Bahubali who finally gains the upper hand in his fight against Balaladeva, wraps his fists in metal chains and punches Balaladeva into submission. Balaladeva is beaten into the area Devasana was held captive for 25 years. The wood that Devasana had been collecting was covered in oil when the palace guards lit the bridge on fire from before. When Balaladeva is beaten onto the pile of sticks by Mahendra Bahubali, Devasana completes her journey exactly where he lies beaten. She dumps the coals on him setting him on fire. We are taken forward in time to Mahendra Bahubali's coronation. He is blessed by his adoptive mother Sangha, Rahini, and then the king's crown is placed on his head by his biological mother. The movie ends with Mahendra Bahubali declaring peace.